The advantages of using ferrets, especially when we use using nets, is that we can harvest the rabbits and every rabbit is clean so it goes straight into the food chain. And because we're not using poisons or toxins, we can ferret almost anywhere and it's quiet and it's, you're a part of nature rather than being an intruder of nature. Today, the, the dog's staying in the car, the nets are all at home and we're bringing me battered Lincoln out and we're going to see if we can get a few rabbits. Through the war, the strike, the famine, the recession, people survived by going out and catching game, especially rabbits. But those generations have lost that relationship with meat on a bone. It's about educating people about rabbits. And if that's in the kitchen or on a mower or in a field, that's where we'll be. Every ferret wears an electronic ferret finder. Uh, that gives me the ability to find the ferret where it is if I've got to dig it out. And we're going to go down to the back and I'm going to point out to Liam some little do's and don'ts and some little hints and tips. And then hopefully a few rabbits will oblige. Liam's shooting is up to, up to par and we'll have some rabbits. As I said, it's just a leisurely walk out rather than a full on day. Now I confess I am a complete ferreting virgin. I have never done anything with working ferrets before um, and I'm really excited about trying out a totally new form of shooting today. Most of my shooting is rough shooting, so, uh, so I'm used to working, uh, working around a working animal, but that's nearly always a dog, there's always a dog. You know, today's going to be an opportunity to, to learn how to work with a, a completely different sort of hunter, you know, a, a ferreter, a warrener, that's something I've not done before and I'm really excited to find out how a game shot can get involved in that and uh, hopefully share that with some other game shooters and get more people trying out this, uh, this kind of sport. All the rabbits I catch or harvest, they all go in the food chain. The provenance of ferreted rabbit is unquestionable. You can't get a finer produced meat than rabbit once it's been ferreted. It's untouched, it's unmarked, but there's no wastage. Yes, it is classed as a sport, and yes, I do enjoy what I do, but at the end of the day, it's serious business, and you've got to, you've got to be efficient. Why I catch rabbits, I couldn't tell you. Why I love ferreting and dogs and nets, I couldn't tell you, it is just how I fell into it. And it is what I know now, it's my life. So catching rabbits, ferreting, it's been a great big journey. I've learned a lot from a lot of people around the country. I now know the difference between good and bad ferrets. I now know intimately how the rabbit operates. I now know about the, the wild world, the natural world, you know, how mother nature ticks together and how to manipulate it to help me. Boy, have I had a journey catching rabbits. I wouldn't swap this for anything in the world. <laughs>